Okay, this is practice number five. This one's pretty easy to build an iron cat as well. Uh, basically a couple of cylinders, a cone shape, through holes, a couple blocks and cylinders uh, to build this shape. So fairly simple. Again, this one, again, make sure units, in this case it's inch units. So if you watch that, be careful. And so let's go ahead and uh, build this part. So let's start off with dropping a cylinder out. And the diameter on this cylinder is gonna be four on this. So we hit that to four and we can hit enter again and we get to the height of this and its thickness is 0.5. So let's copy that to 0.5. Next, we'll select down to the feature level, turn our tri ball in. We're gonna make a copy of this because it's from the bottom up on the, the drawing is actually a three inch, oops, not three of them, three, one, three inches up on this one. So again, uh, copy here, we tab, we'll do three inches on there to get that. This one, however, is actually one inch. So we'll change it from 0.5 to one inch. So that's a, a good starting point for that. Next, we have these uh, little standoffs here, or vertical standoffs. I'm gonna drop a block in the center here, and I'm gonna right click and drag, because I wanna set this symmetrically of 0.5. And this one is 0.5, and the height of it is actually 0.5 as well. So we'll set that there. And we know that object is uh, three, the diameter of this uh, spin is gonna be three, so it's gonna be 1.5 out here. So we'll just move this out. 1.5 from there. So that's our center point of that object. Uh, next, we'll put a cylinder on top of that. We'll snap that up to the top. And the diameter of this one is actually, uh, I believe that is point, uh, 0.25 for that. So we have got our shape there. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and make that pattern. So I'm just gonna use the pattern feature. I can use the tribal as well. Either one works well. This one's just a circular. I'll set an axis. Then we'll just select our shapes, both of those shapes there, and be done. I had set it to eight already, so it's already got the eight on that. Uh, next, there's a cylinder that needs to go inside of there, so we'll just drop that into the center, snap that up to the top on the side of there, and the diameter of this one is actually two uh, for that one, so we'll go ahead and set that to two. We've got our base bottom for this. The next one is actually the spin shape up here and the one easy way we have some of these in our catalogs. So one is this part cone. We can drag and drop that out to start with and we can just snap this out to our outer diameter. And this is actually gonna be 2.25 because the, the top of this is four and then it needs to be 6.25 from the top. However, they need to set this uh, angle at 60. So we'll go ahead in here and edit the cross section on this and it's part of a, uh, a standard shape that has some variables on it, but we're gonna go ahead and break that and just gonna use the sketch here. So just one thing we can do is we can just lock some points here if we want, or we can edit these things down, but I'll just kind of lock a couple of these points down and we'll lock uh, that and that there. So now we're just gonna basically set the angle on this. So we can set this angle for these two and that's all right. We're gonna create this, it should be okay. And we're gonna say 60 on that. And there we go. So now we have this is locked here. This is our two inch value. If you wanna see it, we can click on that curve. That should be the, the uh, 2.25 there. We've got our 60 degree angle and this, so we don't know what that height or that spin top is um, inside there. But anyways, that's the shape that we need to build. Fairly simple. And then last, we can drop our through cylinder here. And the diameter of that is 0.75 on that. So let's type in 0.75 for that. And if you look at their drawing on the cut through uh, section, you'll see there actually is another cylinder down here at the bottom and we'll set that. And that diameter is 1.5 and the top of this is uh, actually two as well. So we set that as well. And so that's our uh, shape there. Basically, that's all it takes to build that. And if we look at this and go to our properties again, it has a value of 7,800 for the density. So this is your mass 10.416. So that's how you build an iron Very easy for us to build. There's no real sketches you have to deal with, except we're just changing the angle in there. And you could do it through the curve dimensions as well, just selecting the angles and adjusting that as well. But I just like doing the constraints just to make sure it's exact on that one. So that's how you build this model.